Oh my goodness, that was so fast. Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. How's it going? All right. Well, put that out of the way. I'm just working here in the garage and I want to do this project with you guys. So it's really fun. These are like, um, what are they? Light plates. Okay. So I was inspired by, I have a bunch of old vintage light plates that are made out of metal and stuff. They're super cool. And I like to, every time I find them, um, buy them and place them all over my house. Right. So say hi if you're here because, you know, talking to yourself is always, always fun. Um, anyways, so they're really, really cool and you can do them simply, simply with IOD products. And so I wanted to show you how to do it. So I just bought a bunch of these. So they're just like, you know, your light plate, right? Little switchers. You could do the ones where you plug stuff in or multiple ones. Hi, there you are. Hi, girls. How's it going? Hi, Margarita. Hi, Rosalinda. All right. So you take your plate and it's just your plastic regular old plate. Okay. We're going to sand this up. Hi, Peggy. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you guys being here. Okay. So just, this is like, what is this? I don't know. It's pretty fine. It's like 500 grit. You could use whatever you want. You just want to scratch it up so that our paint like adheres better. Okay. Um, and these are really cool. I'll show you a finished one so you can see what they look like. I haven't sealed them yet, but I'm making a bunch of these. So the local shops around us, um, I think there's like five of us involved that are doing a swap hop, um, in November. Yay. Notice a wonderful, that's a really cute name. Um, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Um, and I love your name. Hi, Carla. Hi, Anna. Oh, thank you. I, nobody likes to talk to themselves. It's a weird feeling. I appreciate you commenting. Okay, so we sanded that up. But let me just show you one of the finished ones so you guys can see what you're sticking around for. Because I think they're super fun. So, look. So, imagine that's like on, you know, where you go to flip your light on and off. I mean, it just gives like some pizzazz. These are great gifts. Um... It's easy and expensive and, um, you know, just good. So we're doing a swap hop, um, and I need to have, hi Veronica, hi Leon, um, a bunch of free gifts to give out to people who come to the swap. So it's in November, November 23rd, if you're local in Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, everybody who goes to every store will receive a free gift when they go. So just like a fun thing that you can give your customers show appreciation keep it cheap because they are free and um with hopes that they will not only maybe purchase something that day but keep coming back to your store right how long do the molds last when you buy them yes yes over and over yeah so um we'll get to that in one second but yeah it's the mold it lasts forever you could bake in it um a lot of people do like candies um I wouldn't recommend like using the air dry clay. Maybe you'd want to, I don't know, just run it through the dishwasher, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, you can use them over and over and over. They're super durable. So for this one, we're going to use these plates. Okay. And I don't know, is that light too bright? Somebody tell me. I can definitely turn it down, but I want you to be able to see too. So if the light's too bright, somebody tell me. Okay. I'm just going to get started. So we're going to use this and we're going to be using the He Loves Me mold by IOD. And this is what it looks like. And all that white in there is cornstarch, um, which we're going to be using again. So I'm not going to worry too much. But if I wanted this super clean, I could take it to the sink and I could scrub it down with soap and water if I wanted. You can actually just stick in the dishwasher too. If you dishwashed it over and over and over, maybe it would start to crack. I don't know but I don't think so. I mean, they're really durable, like thick, like bendable, like they don't crack. Light is too bright, Mel? Okay. Let's see if I, is that better? Ah, that feels better on my eyeballs. I hope it feels better to you. Okay. I think that's light better. A light better. I think it's a light better. Okay, so we're going to use this, and we're going to use, this is IOD air dry clay. Once you open a package, you always want to keep it in a zippy. 
um, because it is air dry. And if you were to leave it out, it will dry out on you, okay? So you want to put it in there. But we're going to get out our clay. Uh, <laughs> and this one, this one's good, too. This is an old, 1970. This is authentic. This is like a real true concert to you, right? Okay. Thank you. I, I super like it, too. I actually got some paint on it the last time I wore it. I was really kind of sad. But so I decided, well, I'm just going to keep wearing it out here. So we're going to take cornstarch. This is how I do my cornstarch. You could put it in a nylon, um, like a woman's nylon, and then just like, do it like that. But we're going to do it like this. And I'm actually going to um, put it down a little bit. I know, right? It's freaking cool, huh, Leon? I agree. I love it. Um, okay. Anyway, so we're going to take this and we're just going to sprinkle it in. For this purpose, I'm not going to use the real big ones because they're kind of too big. But I'm just going to sprinkle this into my smaller molds and we'll get this little leaf here. Tell me if I need to put it closer. No. Hi, Michelle. If I need to get the camera closer, just let me know. Okay. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing, details and stuff. So this is just an old, like, fluffy artist brush so I'm just going to kind of spread that out in there and then I'm just going to take it and like get off the excess because we really don't need a lot in there we just need a little bit for just a release okay so let's take it tell me if I need to put you guys closer so I'm totally down I can lower the camera all right so I'm just going to grab me off chunk like this. And then again, like I said, this is air dry. So you really just want to kind of wrap it back up. And let's just put it back in the bag. And then we're going to kind of try to squeeze it and get as much air out of this Ziploc as we possibly can. It looks good. Okay. Hi, Kaylin. All right. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. So we got as much arrow as we can for now. Like when I'm off camera, I'll go ahead and squeeze it some more and just kind of keep sucking that air out of there so that my clay lasts me as long as it can. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and start. So I'm just going to take my ball here, and just get something kind of appropriately sized for the mold that you're going to do. This one is called, this, this mold is called He Loves Me. I did put the link in the comments if you guys are interested. I have like three left um, before I make another order. But this one's pretty classic and good. Um, sells really well because I think it, they're just like, well, you'll see. They're really pretty flowers and very distinct. So you put that in there and then you just take whatever you have, like a flat edge. This is one of those five-in-one dillies, but you can just use a regular putty knife or anything that just has a straight edge on it and you just want to pull the excess off okay get your extras and just you know roll them back up because you can use those and then I always just kind of do like a little polish with that and again this one is called he loves me if you are interested in that one so you can see these in there really well and it's I got it pretty clean so these nice, big, deep edges are one thing that make IOD like a little bit separate from some of the other mold companies. They have like, I forget what it's called, but it's like a super cool edge, which gives you a lot of definition on those edges. So then you just bend your mold, it's super bendable, and pull it out. Whoa, where's that camera? Focus. There you go. So you can see in that sunflower, you can get all those dimples, Oh, yeah, Kaylin, that's a great idea. Great idea. Yeah, because it does suck when you go to pull it out and it's all crunchy or, you know, even when it does start to harden a bit, it, it's just not as easy to work with. So, always, yeah, whatever you can do to keep it. I do the paper towel thing with my wood putty. Um, so that's a really great idea. Let's see how that would work for sure my wood putty I always put a wet paper towel inside the the container and it just keeps that from hardening on you too 
even though it's sealed right you know how that is it just hardens so this little tiny flower we'll just go ahead and pop it out it's a little simpler again but it doesn't have the dimples on it which is good so we'll put that there and see we might as well try to use all of this clay that we can so we don't waste it since i already have it out so let's go let's see let's go can you guys see i feel like you might be too far you can't you tell me I'm push this in here let's get this little leaf so we are working with a smaller surface you can cut around the clay to make sure that your light still switches on and off and all that stuff but for today's purposes we're just kind of making it simpler i do have some that i made here where i definitely went over and above the light switchy and the screw holes um so i just used a straight blade and like cut it out while it was still soft and it'll you know so your light will still switch on enough but okay cute little leaf we've got him a little bit more clay let's just keep using it while we can because at least not want 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 not no so how are you guys how's everybody doing appreciate you coming and hanging out with me sure does make this a lot funner when there's people there <laughs> gotta tell you gotta tell you okay so we've got this one we might get one more out of it okay that one's different too super cute like it's washed out I see there's a light I think that's even better I don't know you guys gotta tell me. Okay, so there's that one. I think we have just enough to do this little tiny one here. And then we're gonna put this aside. So there's a little bit here, but that's actually not enough to do any of these particular molds. So that's just gonna be called waste for tonight. All right, so now we have, let's see, we have, so you guys can see them here. Okay, so we've got four flowers and one leaf. I don't know if they'll all fit on here or not. Let's go back over to our little play. Are you getting going to be getting, um, as of right now, there are no snowflakes for sale at all. Like we can't, we can't buy them, so I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure if they're gonna be re releasing them again or not. I would hope they would, but you know, I don't know. Working. Let's see. You really wanted to start a YouTube channel. I'm always working on something. You should. You know what? Um, all I have to say about that, Leon, is that you should just do it. Um, if you're waiting for things to be perfect and stuff, they never will be. And, you know, just do it. If you are interested in teaching people, you got you to just do it. Okay? I know you can do it. So just do it. I do have a video out there. Um, on how to use your phone too for to do all this kind of stuff like film videos and stuff and edit them and upload them so if you're interested in that you know where i am okay we're going to be using e6000 so that's what this is anybody who's used e6000 enough knows that it you know works great but it can be a pain in the tushy when it comes to the actual tube itself and it like hardening up and all like that um, Carla, I do have my mold, the snowflake, so you know where I am, sister. Hit me up. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to just smear this. So important is that you want to get all the way to your edges, okay, because you don't want anything curling up on you after the fact. You want to get that E6000 off your fingers. And then we're just going to place it. So this one, actually, we might have to go through because this is bigger. So if we place it on here, say like that, and then we can fold because it's still wet. So let's just go ahead and roll our corners of our mold over. Make sure everything's hooked down pretty good. Now I did go over one of our 
our holes for our screws. So we're going to have to deal with that in a second, okay? Yeah. But I do think if you want to do a YouTube, you know, I, I was talking to a, a sweet girl the other day and she wants to do one totally different, not this. She wants to do like a lifestyle one and she's like, but my life is so boring right now. And I was like, oh, honey, you know what? You know, if people can relate to you, if people just think you're nice, you know, just be real, be yourself. Like, even though you don't have the greatest life in the world, like, I mean, how many of us do, right? So, I mean, people just relate to people who they can relate to. So just, just do it, you know? Okay, so let's put, let's see if we put the sleeve here. So we'll just kind of, we're just going to do that. Okay. Another small flower down here. I'll get them ready to take a pie so they don't have to stop one second. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so we have that one on there. You're right, Kaylin. Let's do this leaf. And super glue works good too. Um, for this kind of material, I don't think that wood glue is your favorite. On furniture, I usually would use wood glue, but not on this. Because, well, it's not wood. And I find these other crafty kind of glues work better for plastic. So, say we put it like so. And always just make sure that your edges are down, that you're kind of pushing it and squishing it a little bit, not enough to squish out your details, but to make sure that you're kind of like, see how it curls around the lay, right? Okay, so we did block our hole for our screw. So I'm just gonna use my finger here and I'm just going to kind of feel where I think that my finger and the hole are and go straight through. So this is just like a, what is this? A shish kebab skewer. And then I have this, which is my chopstick. So now that I know I'm in the right space, I'm just going to go in deeper and rounder so that when that's all dry, got a nice little hole there and we can put it in. I've been working in our community garden making. Wow, that is fun, I love that. You guys are doing cool stuff. That's very cool. I love to make and create, and I know you guys too, because you're on here. Okay, so we have this one done. So now what we would need to do is wait for this to dry um, a little bit, because if it's Super wet like this, when you go to paint it, you can squish out the details, and we don't want to do that. Hi, Kelly. Ah, oh, you're good. You're good, sister. All right. So we're just going to put that one aside because I came prepared. Came prepared. So what I did was I did exactly this, and then I'm going to put these guys. I can keep them over here, and I can use them again. So, you know, fun fact, if you were to make a bunch of these for your project, you can put them in the freezer, just lay them down in the freezer, and um, they'll they'll harden up when they're in the freezer. But then you, when you pull them out, they'll still be pliable, so you can use them to mold and stuff so they don't dry out on you and um, become in a per permanent, like, you know, position, okay? So that one, we're just going to let that dry. Now, just a few minutes over here, a few minutes ago... I made these ones. So what I did, and I was going to do an in-between step, but apparently I messed up my, my steps. Um, so what I did with this was I took this, I took little black dress by DIY and I used my brush and I just stippled it on um, to create some texture, not a lot of it, but you know, DIY has all that clay in it. So it tends to, hi, Andrea. Hi, Color Caboose Creations. <laughs> Miss Mel. Um, so I just kind of squished it on like this. So I got a nice coat of little black dress on both of these. Okay. Now the mold underneath this is still kind of wet. So I need to be a little bit um, gentle. Okay. For the blending part. 
because I still could smush it out. I mean, I could definitely, if I wanted to, just put my finger here and it would just, I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead. What do you think? So we're going to use this brush, which is, I think it was actually a wax brush when I first bought it. I had white wax on it in my drawer for about five years and then I cleaned it and I thought, you know what, this one actually is good for like small blending. So even it was, though it was created for wax by some company, which I do not even know, it's held up well. And you can see it's got a bit of a rounded, but not, it's not completely flat, just a tiny bit rounded. So I think we're going to use this one. And let's see, I think we're going to use, this is Salty Kiss. Um, by DIY and I think we'll go into fire starter okay um, let's do those so when I'm doing like small things like this when I'm gonna blend I kind of like to just I'll just give it a shake and I'm shaking it so that some of the paint will hit the lid because I don't need a lot of paint I don't want to get out of plate I'm really kind of lazy um, like that. so if we just shake it and get some in your lid then you can just dip in like that, which is actually way too much. And let's see, I'm gonna put you guys down a little bit. Let's do that. Is that all right? Okay, so we're gonna find, I just have like craft paper on here so that I don't destroy my table and have to clean it again. So we're just gonna offload quite a bit, okay? And we are going to um, just take that. Okay. We have it offloaded and now we're just going to start kind of, we're just going to hit like some high portions here. Tell me about my lighting and stuff. Do tell because if it's, if you can't see, I gotta know. Okay. So I got to see and you got to see at the same time. So we're just going to hit a little bit we're not getting a ton of paint on there by any means but we're just going to go around if we go just right on top we can go ahead let's get in there a little bit more we still want to make mud that's what we don't want to do get some more off get all those okay so there's our green one we're just gonna leave it like that for now put that aside I'm so glad you guys are here I haven't done a live in so long I was talking to a friend of mine she's actually one of my Facebook girls and she was like you need to go live on Facebook and I was like okay I will and then I went to do this and I was like oh, I can only choose one at a time and I chose you two <laughs> so I need to go back and do it on Facebook. Okay, so this one, again, hi Rhonda. Hi Melanie, Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's go around and again, just kind of hit those sides. And you remember, we're not using a lot of paint at all. Our touch is pretty light, doing kind of a swirly durly motion. Getting those sides. And then we're just gonna kinda go over and hit those highlights. Get some in the middle though too. I want some of these low spaces, not just the not just the molds, but in there too. But not too much because we're gonna add more color. Okay, so we've got that done. I think that's enough with the green. Let's put that sucker away. Now, let's see. Yeah, let's see how the orange looks. Aye. Fire starter. Uh-oh. You just smack them on the ground at an angle, like a pickle jar, you know? Then they open. But ugh, if you're smarter than Melanie, you could clean your lids. Who won the Halloween challenge? I told Busted. Aw, you're sweet. Um, 
I, Melanie, Mel, 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 you know who won. I forget her name. Um, she did a beautiful project that I, I don't know, maybe Melanie Mel can, can say. Um, she ended up pulling um, names out of a hat for who won, but I can't remember. Mel, help me out, sister. Refurbish something. I don't know. I forget. But no, it wasn't me or Mel. That's confusing, huh? Too many Melanies here. Hi, Sandy. But the girl did a, it was a really pretty dresser buffet. I think she did. Okay. So I cleaned that off as good as I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to dip into my fire starter. It's really pretty orange. And again, offloading, being that I have a little bit of green on my brush, it's probably not going to be as bright as I want it to be, but I'm not going inside to wash it. Oh, uh, okay. Huh? I don't know what you think. Oh, okay. So we've got our orange and now we're going to just do it again. So we want to hit a little bit of different spaces. It's okay if we overlap the same ones. But we want to get on our orange color. Thanks, Mel. I totally, I just went blank there. Blank, you know how I am. Yay, so now we have lick. So it's fun because the black, like, comes out, you know, in those deep spaces. Which, of course, gives us more dimension. I feel like I say the same things all the time. You guys have to tell me. I know in my videos I do. I'm like, dimension, depth, deep spaces. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this one again. Or this one. A little bit. Oh, dazzle. So you could get really fun. You could pull out your metallics. Um, all that kind of stuff. Let's kind of wipe this off. I think we need a tiny bit of red, and I sure hope I don't regret that, but I'm going to do it anyway, so let's pray I don't blow it. Yeah, that's crazy, right, Mel? That's crazy. That's a really fun group. I really like um, everybody's, everybody's very different and very fun at the same time. Okay, so this is what we look like now. I think they look so pretty, don't they? Thanks, Mel. Love Art Deco, I can see. Yeah, yes, very Art Deco, right? So I'm gonna try to just be real like chill with the red. See what happens. I have a hard time with chills. So. Oh yeah, see if we just do it a little bit, like a little dabble, do ya? Look, so that red just gave it a little bit more, a little bit more. So let's do this one. And we're just being so slight. So little tiny bit of metallics, little, little something, something just gives it a little more something, right? So yeah, so this is my little fun project that I am giving out to the lovely ladies who come to the swap shop pop shop pop in November and hopefully they like it. It's their little free gift and I feel like I need to turn this light on because you can see my, ooh, look, if I blind myself out, then you can't see. I don't have any makeup on and I'm oldish. So yes, so this is what we just created. So these are IOD molds. This mold is called He Loves Me. Um, of course, IOD clay and DIY paint. Loving the red. Oh, you're sweet, Sandy. Thank you. I'm happy that you like them. Thank you for the sweet compliment. So now, you know, we could you could seal these up with wax if you wanted to. You could seal them up with top coat. Um, you could even spray a polyurethane on them. You know, whatever you wanted to do. Wait for your mold to dry all the way. I didn't wait for these ones to dry. But, you know, you just wait, I don't know, a few hours, whatever. Maybe the next day. Maybe the next day. But super fun, right? Let me see. Enjoyed watching all the videos. It took me more than a week. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of them, huh? Um, 
Awesome. Beautiful. Great. Yes. Great little gift idea. You know, they really, like I said, I think almost all of the light switches in my house are either true vintage ones um, or something that I made and created because, you know, once you have cool ones, it's really hard to just like have a regular light plate. You know what I mean? Oh, well, anyways. All right. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And I feel really bad about Facebook, so I might just do this again in a minute over there. I would, I need to prepare some more. But thank you guys again. Thank you. And I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate you subscribing, watching, sharing, all that stuff. It really helps me and um, helps me to keep doing this. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye, guys.